So let's get started. The first thing I want to do is to create a box over here, a small box, where I plan to import a portrait of a designer, as this article is about yacht design and about cruisers. So I want to get the designer into this box, and note that currently this is neither a picture box nor a text box. One of the differences in Quark Express 8 is you don't need to decide beforehand the kind of content you want to import. It's a generic box. So if you import a picture, it will be a picture box. And if you import text, it will be a text box. M faster and much more visual, and the way I like to work, is to actually drag and drop directly to the box. So let's go to the finder. And here's the first picture I want to import in here. And Quark Express 8 actually supports drag and drop from any application that you can drag from. So it could be Adobe Bridge. It could be Extensis Portfolio, or in this case, the Finder. I'm just going to take this picture and drag and drop it onto the page. And note, you'll see that Quark Express shows you the target box by highlighting the box that the picture is going to be brought into. Now, before I release the mouse button, take a look at the tool that's selected. It's currently still the Box tool. When I release the mouse button, Quark Express will pick the right tool for me, so that it also helps me save a bit of time there. And the new tool is the all-new Picture Content tool, which allows me to do everything I, as a designer, need to do with pictures. So, of course, I can resize my picture. You can see I can see the cropping area makes it very easy to do that. I can move it around. I can take a handle and change the dimensions. And you'll see in the measurement palette, I'm getting the effective picture resolution. So if I make changes on this image, I can be sure I don't do something to the resolution that isn't going to work. By holding down the standard shift key, I can scale it with the standard option key. I'm scaling from the middle. So let's get the picture the way we want it. I'm going to zoom in here so you can see better what I'm doing. Now the portrait's a bit tilted. I'd like to straighten that face out. I don't need a switch at all. I just go to the handles of the image that I've been using for all my manipulations so far and note that when I move my mouse out a bit it changes to a rotation icon and I can simply turn the picture right around there. Hands on. Now of course I could have gone to the measurement palette uh, try to predict the angle but it's much nicer and more visual and design friendly to get in there and tilt it with the mouse. Now taking a step back and looking at the square box I just made I decided I don't like it. Maybe it would have been better with rounded corners or beveled corners now with previous versions, to do this I would have to go to a different tool, create a new box, import the picture, or convert the box. We've made that a lot faster with Quark Express 8. All you need to do is go to the measurement palette, which you'll see at the bottom of the screen. And in the measurement palette, I'm going to select the corner type. I can either make this a beveled corner or a rounded picture box. It makes it very fast for me to visually make these changes without having to go back and remake any boxes. So, I'm done there. That's the way I want it to look. I need to bring in some more portraits of designers.